instead of continuing to push forward. If well, you want to take that, you got to go forward. But, you know, he's faster than him, and so he's not, uh, you know, sweating that forward pressure. Oh. That was a nice time in. But then it's like follow it up. He, he's landing these good shots. And he needs to go forward. See, he catches him, but drive forward. And that's, that's what he did here. That's going to do it. Well, talk about one heck of a pro debut here. Great hard-fought contest between these gentlemen. This one will go to the judges' scorecard. And Romello dug deep yeah. to keep, uh, just keep moving. He never really settled in terms of, like, slowing down to the point of, like, uh, you know, getting himself into trouble from that. He was able to keep pumping jabs, keep throwing overhands, and uh, even though Tovar was continuously coming forward, he ne was never able to overwhelm him. Yeah. And between the uh, the takedowns, you know, that's a it, it was kind of like a, a veteran type of fight in terms of it's like, okay, if you're not going to knock him out, you're going to take him down, control him, and you're on the ground. You didn't uh -huh. do too much damage then. In the end, Tovar is cut up and bl and bloodied up. Yeah. So yeah, he's got 15 minutes of experience in his yeah. pro debut against a tough guy, and that's only going to pay dividends in his career. But also too, in such a tough, you know, victory at this, like. Who do you fight next for your second professional, you know, bout? You just fought a guy with four fights so yeah, like, for your debut. Where do you go from here as far as, like, you know, as the matchmakers decide to, to you know, pick? Congratulations to Romello Union picking up a dub in his pro debut. Like we mentioned, 7-1 and one as an amateur, so a wealth of experience that he brought from those bouts he took all over the state. And congratulations to him. Most of those he took with combat night. That's a lot of amateur fights. Eight. Did Romello bring them, or are they part of combat night? No, they've just uh, been here. I think some fans. 